Also new at 10 tonight, minutes matter when searching for a missing person. Silver alerts are used to, uh, to alert the public of a missing person in hopes of locating them faster. It's especially important when the person missing is a senior citizen with conditions like Alzheimer's or dementia. While North Dakota uses silver alerts, Minnesota is one of just a handful of states that does not. Valley News Team's Katie Opperly asked if having silver alerts in Minnesota could make a difference. The search for an 80-year-old Minnesota woman has been called off after she was found dead. Many are questioning if resources like a silver alert could make a difference, not just in this case, but for any missing elderly person. It draws broader attention than does a, just a social media post or a, maybe a basic newscast. North Dakota does use the silver alert system just this year in the cases of Raymond Payne of Dickinson and David Smith of Mandan. Both were found after a silver alert was issued. But Moorhead officials say they have other ways of getting their message out. So one of the first things we're going to be using is our cast clay alerts, which is a new system. A lot, it was, uh, used to be referred to as uh, Code Red. Another thing that we can use uh, locally is a system called IPAWS, and how we're using that is it's a, it's a force push. This system acts similarly to a silver alert, the biggest difference being it is not specific to missing people. It's used for a variety of messages, from gas leaks to weather alerts. We don't necessarily have that uh, title of silver alert, but we have the resource to be able to blast those messages out to the public regionally and uh, throughout the state. In Moorhead, Katie Opperly, Valley News Live. In 2016, a study was done in Minnesota to see if there was a need for a silver alert. It was recommended that the state continue to use its existing missing person systems.